Hey guys, welcome back to another Christmas planning video. I'm really excited to be sharing more about Christmas because you guys seem to be here for it. You're loving the plan with me and Christmas preparations. And I think it's just really good to be on the front foot with this because obviously last year was a complete washout. We weren't allowed to see anybody, which in the UK that was, which seems very odd thinking about the fact that we were told we weren't allowed to see friends and family. But okay, we went with it. And so this year, obviously, hopefully everything will be back to normal and we will be able to do some nice things. And we've booked our Santa trip. So that is one thing to definitely organize if you're looking to book a Santa or go and visit Santa or do maybe a lights experience. But we'll chat a little bit more about Christmas preparations and Christmas plan with me and what I'm doing this week for Christmas. So lots of you guys asked for Christmas gifting. So usually I do Christmas gift guides where I sit down and I talk through some Christmas gifts that I think I think might you might like. So I've got loads of these on my channel, so I'll link them in the description bar for you. But this year is can you hear Maggie Smorin? <laughs> Let's go down and have a chat. Yeah, Maga. <laughs> I think you're like half asleep still snoring. So yeah, we're gonna talk a bit more about things to do now for Christmas and get organized, maybe some food stuff, some gifting and yeah just plan with me so this is part three of my christmas christmas plan with me series and i think it's just key to being uh, doing it more frugally because you can obviously get things you okay max cool you can obviously do things so much more affordably if you can find things that are on sale and get better prices for them. And there's loads of toy sales on at the moment. I think Asda had one. I don't think Sainsbury's got one at the moment, but on Amazon, I'll try and link some things below. I found, well, Stu, really, he's been so organized. He's found so many amazing Lego sets. So our children adore Lego. And we've got other people to buy for that they love at Lego too. So when we see them on offer, we just snap them up because Lego is really expensive, but it's one of those toys that the children play with every single weekend. They love Lego. It's kind of like an investment because even Stu's Lego from 40 years ago, they play with. So yeah, it's a nice toy to give because it creates, you know, it inspires them to make creative things. Anyway, so there's lots of Lego and other bits. So anyway, let's get into part three, Christmas plan with me. I always forget to say this guys, um, I don't think I've seen a hairbrush today. Um, please do subscribe if you're new to my channel, I'd really really love to have you here. I upload three times a week and I just love trying to inspire you guys to do things that you love but not break the bank. It's good to kind of have hopefully ideas to help you live your best life on a budget as I say and yeah just kind of give you that inspiration so hopefully you enjoy my channel and that you might like to subscribe i'd love to have you here in this community and why not check out my instagram as well which is lara joanna jarvis and you can come over and see day-to-day -day life of planning for christmas and as well as all normal day-to-day -day life as well and frugal living but with a little sprinkle of craft and fashion and beauty and stuff like that so i am going to start making a little list for things like wine deals that go on offer so places like sainsbury's asda tesco maurie's probably they all do wine deals so it's six bottles get 25 percent off so often we will pick this up and then we'll just store the wine and then obviously for christmas you get it so that means kind of bottles that might cost you around eight nine pounds will be down to six five six pounds so if you want like a nice wine for christmas it's a really good idea to start maybe stocking up on that while you see the, the deals which there's lots of deals out there at the moment we just picked up our favorite wine which is the 19 crimes and I think it's usually about eight pounds or seven pounds and we got it for five pounds for six bottles so if you can afford the outlay of buying the bottles in a lump like that then obviously that means that you can save probably like 10 15 pounds on a crate so it's well worth it if you're going to do entertaining or just you know you go in someone's house and you take a bottle with you so things like that start adding to your list for getting prepared. Also another good thing is using the catalogs that come through the door. So we actually haven't got any here and I thought I had the Aldi one, but I love using the catalogs to actually try and plan out what I want to cook. So we'll probably be hosting this year. I mean, 
hosting ourselves. I don't think, I don't really know what we're doing this year, to be honest with you. Um, but we'll probably be definitely cooking lunch, whatever happens. So it's just start planning out that thing. So if you want a meal plan with me or a Christmas meal plan, let me know and I can make that for you. In fact, I did last night, which is Thursday, you'll be watching this on Sunday. I did a meal plan with me. I went to Lidl. Actually, Stuart went to Lidl because he had to get petrol. We did a Lidl meal plan and little grocery haul. Never done one before, I don't think, on this channel. And yeah, it's always been Aldi, so I'm interested to see what, in fact, I did last year in Lidl Christmas, what's in Lidl. So I'll probably do that again this year if you want to see. And I tried to do it every week for, from the end of November to the middle of December, so show you guys in Aldi and Lidl uh, what was new so you can see because when I first started doing it in November they didn't have all the things so it's interesting to see how the range increases and develops over that time so if you're too organized with things like this it's not always that they have everything there but obviously you may want to stock up on things like crackers or like eating crackers and pulling crackers make your own table presents uh, and just things that you will, will eat over Christmas. So I'm trying to think what I'd eat. Like things like puff pastry. So then you can add in to your meal plan, like a weekly thing leading up. You may want some sausage rolls and maybe some minced meat with some minced pies. <laughs> uh, so just things like that that you can start buying now. And if you can store them, don't panic buy, don't overbuy, just buy what you need. So yeah, I'm going to try and start my little list now of things that we might be doing around the time. So I'll get my diary and I'll work out like what we might be doing and what food we'll need for those things. And then I'll add that to my Christmas big shop, but part one big shop, because this is kind of like before actual Christmas day. I thought I would just check on Google to see whether my content comes up when you type in plan with me for Christmas and look at this. So this is quite cool. I've just put in plan with me for Christmas to Google and the first video on there is mine. Is that just because it's me looking or is that because Google's ranked as the first and the second like main one as well? What? That's cool. Okay, I've balanced you on a cushion. Highly technical setup here, guys. But I just wanted to quickly talk to you about the Smiths catalogue. Other toy shops are available, but we get one of these at the beginning of, well, as soon as they come out. So this is October. This has been in the house probably a week. So I think they came out at the beginning of October. Now, what we do is we let the children just have a look through and let me know, did you used to do this with the Argos catalogue? Comment below, because I definitely used to. And I mean, it's safe to say that pretty much, you know, a good half of this is circled. Um, maybe not this section but it just gives a really nice idea of the things that they would like. So obviously they're not getting everything in this catalogue, obvs, that goes without saying, but it just gives us an idea. So this page, for example, and they are, to be honest, they are quite restrained. They just get so excited and I just love it. They are full of excitement already. So they have circled some things. So for example, Henry's really into Minecraft at the moment. So he will have circled some things and then what will happen is like nearer the time we'll say, Right, so we need to go back through the catalogues and really think about what would make your top five toys. And then that gives us a really good example of the things that they definitely want and that they will ask Santa for. So that's kind of probably something you guys might do, but if you don't, it's just a really nice way of getting a good kind of feel for the things they want. But back in the day, didn't we just used to have like a million adverts between our programs? So we would, the parents would know. But now, there's no adverts, so we just fast forward them or it's all on demand. But talking of toys, let's go and show you the toys that we've so far collected on places like Amazon and places where we've seen good deals online. And I will link what I can in the description bar for you. Not all of this is for the children, do not fear. And some of it is for Christmas Eve box. Let me know if you want a Christmas Eve box video or a stocking filler video. I might do, I did last, what's that? Last year I did a Home Bargains stocking filler video. So let me know if you want me to do that again. Just ideas or hampers or something like that. But yeah, let's go and have a little look at the things that we've got so far, because I know lots of you have been asking. So it's all about Little and Lofton, so Stu's just come home with this from Home Bargains. It was £5, 
and it's usually around £15. It's on Amazon at the moment, reduced for £10, so I'll find a link for you. But yeah, £5 in Home Bargains, and it's a really good set. We love this movie as well. So yeah, just little and often, adding to the collection. That's this week's purchase. Here's the man himself, doing his little... He's putting these away for Hiding. <laughs> well, I need to put the suitcase away, and I... Saw... I can't so keep having this it. stuff in my wardrobe because they get they'll see it eventually. Yeah, so. so we're just hiding it. So do you wanna just tell me how much are these? Ten. Ten pounds. Yeah. So you got four, so two each of those. They're different colours. Yeah. No, I bought four. Oh, wow. <laughs> how much were they? And where from? Ten pounds each at home bargains. Home bargains, okay. So that was recently, so they might still be in there. This one was the one I told you about the other day, so I won't pounds. that was amazing. Um I got that reduced and it was under 30 quid when I bought it on Amazon. I bought it on Prime Day. So, so our boys are huge Lego fans and this is the sort of stuff that they will just play with constantly. Yeah. This These... was off Amazon, it was eight pound I think at the time. It's normally 12. Uh -huh. This was off Amazon, it was five. I'll try and link some things in the description. I can't remember how much it was, but it was only about five. So these things are from Home Bargains. How much are they? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine, and these are really good for like uh, in the birthday cupboard for friends, for parties. But the boys love them. And the boys love them as well. So they've got a couple of those already. And oh. these are the new ones. Oh, the new season. The new series. As little kind of like stocking fillers or extra Ooh, presents. Awesome. Sorry, I've messed up your ordering now, haven't I? These are also good for if you have like friends um, that you buy for Christmas. So yeah, we might do that with these. Like this, the boys is, this is like a stocking filler for Henry. Oh, I just have mine. And then these, I think these were about, these were actually 50p, oh no, pound, <laughs> it says there, 99p. <laughs> oh, that's good. Maybe one of those in the... Um, these are for the Christmas Eve box. Christmas Eve box, yeah. Two each. Perfect. Cool, so, so far, so good. These, Home Bargains is really good, I find, yeah, for I, prices like that, I for got, things that are on offer. These in there as well, they were 2 99 each. Oh, that's cool. That's that's a really good uh, Christmas Eve box as well, because we like to do a little activity in there, so they can um, yeah. do oh, that oh, while oh, we're busying. That's Prepping all the food. Yeah, they were 2 99 each in Home Bargains as well. Cool, yeah, Home Bargains seems to get these really good deals on that, things. So when they're like old or they just get like extra stock and um, yeah, it's a good yeah, price. And then of course, the money for the stocking. Probably, how much do you think those were? Oh, they were less than that. Yeah, so we've got those two there. This is the Lego set that I was telling you about the other day. I mean, it's that's, still on there. I think it's that's still my on. hand, it's huge. Yeah, I think it's still on Amazon at the moment, about 3799 Yeah, I think it went up a few pounds, didn't it? So I'll link it for you, it's 37 99 but I oh. think it was like 70 pounds or oh, something. I'll pay 89 can you even, oh my goodness, blows my mind how like, someone's spending that much money, but this is like one of his main presents, so he will love that, that's for Henry, so it's nine plus. He usually does kind of like 9 to 12 plus now. That's a big box. That is huge, yeah. Oh, these are from Home Bargains. These are good for little... One pound! One pound, were they? Yeah. Little squashy things for the children's uh, part, like for the present cupboard, basically. That's currently on offer at the moment. I think it's 37 quid. Wow, um, that's quite a lot. It was not for that particular box. Oh, because it's Star Wars as I well. Think I got it on a Prime Day. Again, I think I heard about 30 quid. Oh, right, that, okay. I got it, like I said, I got it on Prime Day, and it might be like that again on again. Black Friday, but it's big. I got a really good deal on it because it was on Prime. This one is on offer for £15. At the moment. At the moment on Amazon, so I'll link, I'll try and link what I can. But when they go on offer like that, when they're normally like £80 down to 30 we'll buy them and then just store them for their main presents for Christmas. So that one's George's, that's quite cool actually, isn't it? That's the one we saw yesterday, isn't it? Yeah, we did watch that yeah, one yesterday, that one, yeah. Harry Potter 5. And then these, again, these are brilliant for... Five pound, they were. They're fives, so these are like school presents with one of those squishy men. You know when I say school, it's like parties that you go to. It's just good to have in the present cupboard. And at home bargains, I think they're about a pound each. Like these pound are 50, for the... Maybe, maybe pound 50? One pound 50, they have like rainbow coming out of them. They're really cool. So that's the like Christmas Eve box. And a nice Christmas bath. It's not very really festive, but <laughs> they love these ones. So, we have got a little pile here that we are decluttering. So decluttering for Christmas, I think is actually really important. You need to make the space to bring the new things in basically. And also I just feel like it, it gives space for the decorations and just 
feeling a little bit less mind cluttered because there's so much to think about and do. So just cluttering, decluttering really helps. So we've got a bag here, things like toys that they don't play with anymore. These were taken to the beach in the summer and they've not played with them since. So to be honest with you, they can be decluttered, taken to the charity shop. I want a really squeaky, squeaky chair. Uh, so yeah, just think about what you can declutter. I might do a whole declutter with me video for Christmas. If you want to see that, let me know. I've done tons and tons of minimalism and decluttering and organization videos here on this channel. So if you haven't watched any of those, there's loads of those to watch. <laughs> there's loads of meal plans, there's loads of budget videos. But yeah, I would think just decluttering a few bits and bobs in the bedrooms and maybe even your wardrobe just to get ready for new things entering the house so you don't get too much stuff. I'm making my little list for the food shop and just things that I don't want to not have and that I want to make. This year, I really want to try and entertain a little bit more so I have people over. And yeah, I want to just make some nice things like canapes or nice cocktails. That doesn't have to be expensive, it can just be little bits of effort. So I want to do that because we haven't done that for years. And yeah, I think I'm just going to finish off my grocery list and then add on maybe some bits and bobs that we want to store for Christmas. Obviously, Stu has already tried out all the mince pies. So if you want a video of testing mince pies, actually let me know in the comments because I wasn't sure if that's something you might like to watch. Or maybe like a Aldi versus Lidl groceries taste challenge, Christmas challenge or something like that. But let me know. So I'm going to leave this video here because it's quite long, but there's so many more things that I'm going to be doing to plan for Christmas and to get prepared for Christmas in 2021. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a like if you did enjoy it and go over and check out all the other videos on the channel to get you prepared and organized. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.